everyone, if you saw my announcement video, you will know that at um, we now have a holding pen for for taking video requests, and um, and because I haven't seen seen anything come in on on that front, I have gone through all the comments that I haven't responded to, at least the ones that I am aware of. And and uh, this is and this seems to be the only request that I saw open. So hopefully this will encourage more of you to drop your requests. So the link to that holding pen will be in the description. Also, for those who are uh, who are wanting a re-upload of of some of the older videos because because uh, there's no audio at the time which made it harder for you to follow along look out for a poll coming up um, asking which one of these do you want to see first uh, on, uh, on, on a fully narrated tutorial so that said BMW logo I have a uh, Creative Commons picture up on my screen right now um, and as far as what I'm aware of in terms in terms of the legal business um, this this is the this, this is the version that I, that I am allowed to publicly show and this will be the one that will be will be using uh, in, in this in this graphing tutorial uh, link to this file will be available in the description and and uh, let's carry on with it. To get started, head on over to to this commons.wikipedia.org and to, and grab. Um, don't use an SVG file. I don't think this file for it is supported on Desmos. Um, so to be safe, um, if you right click on it, save image as. Pick the PNG version of it. Um, yeah, you're not going to see the dialog pop up on my screen, but it will pop up on yours. Just check the file type before saving it. Make sure it says either a PNG or a portable network graphics file. If you get stuck on that, let me know in the comments. I will respond and, uh, and, and get you over that hump. So once you do that, let's head on over to our Desmos graphing calculator. And, uh, and then let's start graphing. All right, you should be on on uh, on Desmos.com slash calculator uh, on an untitled graph if you're starting out new or if you're adding to an existing one, totally fine. Um, so to get started, for organization purposes, I'll make a new folder, call it Call it reference, and this is where your image would uh, would go into. So this is good if you're working from several reference images. And uh, and the next one you want to go for is is this image here, and a dialog should pop up for you. And there, go ahead and upload your PNG image, and and by default. Uh, you can see that it is centered right at the origin, um, uh, not rotated, and and it is at full opacity. To make things easier for us to graph, because as you know, um, as, we start, as we start drawing lines, it's going to be very, it's going to get mixed in with with the picture, and that's going to make it very difficult for us. So go ahead and and tone this down. Um, I'm going to turn it, tone it down to half. Zero means completely transparent, and one means means uh, means completely solid, completely opaque. All right. Once you're happy with their settings, go ahead and collapse this. By the way, if if you actually picked the wrong image, that's okay. There, uh, this change image um, button is available for you. All right, let's collapse that, and now let's make a new folder. Call it BM, BMW. I want to split this up into two parts: one for the lines, and in the next part, I'm going to show you how to 
had to had to fill everything in. Yes, I do see three giant letters. Let's tentatively hold off on that if there's enough interest. Um, I I am planning on making a separate video on on, on how to how to uh, rotate some more com complex graphs, especially those that take um, more than one lines to achieve. So hold that thought. Yes, it is um, in mind. But for now, let's let's start with the easy part: the circles. Um, you all know what this is going to be. If you haven't, the the equation of a unit circle is as x squared plus y squared is equal to one. If it looks especially like like Pythagorean theorem or a distance formula, it is. That's exactly where it came from. Uh, and and this is the radius squared. So to, just for demonstration, um, if I if I just arbitrarily define a radius and, squ and squared it, you can see that say if I want a radius of four, go over here. Uh, you can see that um, it's going to uh, it, it it spans from ma from minus four to four. In this case, we do want to have it go go out to the edge here. This looks like a five, so we're just gonna we're gonna take a five squared and just make it out to twenty five. All right, uh, and then I'm gonna quickly change the color here, and then we need. I'm going to do, do this again for this inner ring here. All right, let's do x squared plus y squared. This is not going to be a, uh, a 25. This is going to be a little less. We can we can estimate it. Uh, just iteratively find your way. Um, uh, I find that 23 through experimentation works nicely. It, it, it somehow fit right on. Let's keep going. Uh, we'll do. We'll do the. We'll start doing the two rings on the inside. All right, so it looks like a radius of three got got us right on uh, on the first inner ring here. So we'll so our next one one is naturally going to be a little bigger than that. So I estimate a ten. Don't get don't get hung up uh, if if your line doesn't match right on with it. This is just there for reference, right? So think of it more of like a help sheet versus this is exactly what your lines lines need to be. Alright, next thing let's do let's 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 uh let's let's do let's let's do the vertical and horizontal lines over here and we already know what, so these lines they're going to be distracting, at least for me they're distracting. Um and so I will go ahead and hide the reference by by uh, by clicking on the icon up here, and we we know we know where it needs to be. It needs to run from from this inner circle down down to the bottom of this one here. We need another one running from uh, this minus three over over to uh, over to this plus three here. Um, so to do that, first the vertical line is x equals. Uh, this means that all y values that have the x value equal to, well, in this case, zero, and it's, and we know know where it is because if you if you check up here, it's it's telling you that it's running up to three, so this could be e minus three is less than y is less than or equal to to positive three, and we'll do the same thing just. Instead of x, we do we do the y instead. I'm gonna go ahead and up to you how you want to make yours. This is your project ultimately, um, and I think for mine, I'm just gonna make the 
make the uh, the inner two lines blue. So th this this is this is your starting point. Um, let me know if you, if you have any questions up to up to here in in, in the comments and in the next video. I want to show you how to start coloring it. It should not take long for our first pass at it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, consider leaving a like. If not, let me know how, um, how this video could have been improved. I'll see you next video.